Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be exploring the Prophet of Truth's Forerunner ship during takeoff in the final cutscene of the mission, uh, well, High Charity, <laughs> uh, in Halo 2. So, in this scene, as you know, Master Chief, he rides a little green beam and then just flies into what I presume is one of the hangars or some other, like, cargo bay or something of that Forerunner key ship that the Prophet of Truth uses to take off. And that's all we ever see of it. We don't actually get to see anywhere else inside there. Actually, we, we don't really get to see much of the ship up close from other angles. So, using Halo 2's mod tools, we are going to be taking advantage of all the built-in cheat codes to explore around a little bit and see how this goes. So, here we are. Uh, we're starting the cutscene and Master Chief is riding the green beam, which is actually something interesting in and of itself, but I'll explain that in a little bit. But anyways, notice the green beam is moving forward, and then here we are. I'm just gonna pause the game right here and just change the speed down to zero so we can fly around without the cutscene uh, continuing. All right, so now that we are frozen at this part of the cutscene, we can have a look around. So you can see that's the platform that Chief is flying from. And it seems like he does actually fly through quite a few of those rings. And uh, they, they do go on for quite a bit. So it's possible. It seems like Bungie might have actually used them like in a practical way. But then we get to the Forerunner ship itself. It's actually back there in a cutscene in a corner. What Master Chief actually flies into and lands into is not the Forerunner ship. It is actually this... Well, I don't, I don't really know what this is. It's like some kind of building. It's obviously Forerunner in design. But... It's a, uh, it's not a natural formation, that's for sure. Uh, and then these things here, these might actually look uh, familiar to you. You might actually recognize some of these things, uh, especially once we go inside the structure. Once we go inside, some of it might look even more familiar to you. And if you're thinking that it does look very familiar to you, that is because it looks very similar to the uh, the cut warthog run of Halo 2. In fact, I think it's the exact same structure, except it's sealed off over here at the end. But at the beginning and the end of the Warthog run, they had pretty much this exact same structure. Uh, it's just connected to the rest of the Warthog run. So it's very possible that the Warthog run that was cut, some parts of it were still used in game in this cutscene. Uh, I mean, like this outer structure, that wall is definitely not used anywhere. I I've never seen it before. But this little tube structure inside, that I'm pretty sure is probably reused from the Warthog run. Or or it might have been the Warthog run reused that from the uh, from the cutscene. Either way, it's possible. Uh, I, I mean, I guess if the Warthog run is reusing the cutscene's like, um, scenery objects, then that would explain... That might explain why uh, the Warthog run actually supports anniversary graphics, because it's reusing stuff that's used elsewhere in the game. But I'm not entirely sure about that. It could have gone either way. But that is, you know, that's actually what Master Chief lands into, not the ship. That's the actual structure. Uh, the Forerunner ship itself, it's, well, it's pretty simple. In fact, I think Halo 3 reuses the exact same model, because it, it's very much identical. Now, the reason why I mentioned the green beam that Master Chief flies through earlier is pretty interesting it's because when you, when you see the beam like kind of like shooting through uh, it, it's actually like th the beam itself is an object that's like it's a very very huge long object that you see here and th the beam isn't like cutting off anywhere it's, it's not like stopping it's, it's actually the entire like it's, it's a giant cylinder that's constantly moving forward to kind of fake the effect of a beam so to speak and it, it just it just flies really far out of the map here like out of bounds and this is where the green beam ends up. So there you guys have it. That is what Truth Ship, Forerunner Ship looks like on the inside and outside where Master Chief actually lands into. And you also got to see a little bit of behind the scenes look at how that particular cutscene works overall. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on behind the scenes for sure. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thoughts in the comments, let me know anything else you check out or look into. Aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!